parents are being urged to look out for the symptoms of strep A infection. That is after the deaths of at least six children. The UK Health Security Agency says that investigations are underway following reports of an increase in cases. Well, joining me now is Dr Simon Clark. He's a mi microbiologist from the University of Reading. Uh, Dr Clark, good to see you again on good Sky morning, News. Uh, good morning. Could you just remind our viewers, please, of what the symptoms are to look out for? So initially, the, the, the symptoms that people need to look out for are uh, perhaps tiredness, nausea, the sort of things that are fairly common uh, when you pick up an infection. Uh, within the next several hours um, of starting to develop a disease, um, somebody will probably get a rash. They may have uh, flushed cheeks, a swollen tongue. Really, the only way, though, of being sure that somebody has got group A strep infection is to take a swab from the back of their throat and to culture it in the laboratory. So these initial signals, while they're a good indicator, they're not proof and people should see their doctors. Um, the worrying thing for parents, of course, is, is to think that, you know, this appears to be causing fatality, uh, albeit very small numbers, but higher, uh, higher incidence than what we've seen pre pandemic. Um, how, how does it result in, in, in such a tragic outcome? Um, well, I think really there is every chance that it's not been proven that uh, the, the, because children were not mixing during, during the pandemic, were not mixing as much as they had been previously, that means that they weren't able to generate uh, an immunity to these sorts of bacterial infections, which are common. Um, many people carry this bacteria in their throats and it causes no problems. So what you end up with is a situation where there is less uh, community immunity to infection and more transmission, and therefore the infection is that the bacteria is more able uh, to find people who are going to be susceptible to it. That's why you end up in the situation, perhaps, um, that we have. I should emphasise, though, it's a reasonable hypothesis, but it hasn't been proven. Is there anything, I, I, I suppose, we're speculating, I don't suppose that you know uh, the details, but is there anything to link uh, these, these tragic deaths of these children in terms of... Uh, in terms of why it was fatal? Um, I am unaware of any reason why this might have been in clusters. Um, I am only unaware of any perhaps underlying health conditions, if we even know about those, of course. Uh, no, I, I don't think we fully understand why some people are susceptible to this type of infection. Incidentally, you can make the same argument about all sorts of other bacterial infections that infect uh, children and adults. We don't understand what makes individuals particularly susceptible. It might, of course, just be bad luck. Um, what is the advice about sending children to school? Because um, children quite frequently go to school with sore throats. Uh, yes, and it's not unheard of to have cases of uh, um, scarlet fever in uh, in schools uh, and in universities as well. Um, but of course, public health uh, bodies, local authorities, should be aware of what's going on uh, in those situations and should be able to to offer the appropriate advice. It's also worth stating that this infection is really very easily treatable with antibiotics. So catch it early enough, and by that I mean diagnose it early enough, um, and, and uh, it should be eminently treatable. And meanwhile, um, parents are being advised to get their children vaccinated against the flu. Um, presumably that doesn't provide any additional protection for this particular illness. No, flu is a virus. <clears throat> Group A strep is a bacteria. They're very different entities. Um, I think that the call to vaccinate people against flu is because we're seeing high numbers of uh, flu cases in the community. And we know that children are an engine of spread for that virus. And, and finally, there isn't a vaccine, uh, is there, for, for strep A, but um, the, apparently they are looking into developing one. Oh, uh, yeah. These things, I mean, this, this is just one of a long list of uh, infections that do the rounds. 
where we would like to have a vaccine, but it proves much more difficult um, than, than it, it perhaps on the surface appears that it ought to be. Um, we got very lucky with COVID, which is, of course, still in, in people's minds. Um, but uh, other things, no, it's far more difficult, far more tricky to, to, uh, to produce vaccines for them. All right. Uh, Dr. Simon Clark, always good to get your analysis on Sky News. Thank You're you. You're welcome.